What is up, peoples? What is up, peoples? What is up, peoples? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another Cloud Gamer Chronicles. And today I have a special guest. We deeply apologize. Some technical difficulties on my end here, but I think we got everything straightened out. But with no further ado, we have my homie Ace of the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel, the same CGX channel that was featured on Linus Tech Tips. Yes. Linus Tech Tips, not too long ago. How's it going, Ace? How you doing, my good friend? Hey, what's up, man? Thank you for having me in the show, man. Always, always want to do a collab with you, so it's, it's pretty cool to be here talking to you, man. It's awesome, awesome. Absolutely. I'm doing good. Thanks for Absolutely. asking. Yeah, I um, like I've said before, man. You guys have always extended open arms and stuff for me to come on the show for us to do collabs all that good stuff it's just been me my crazy unorganized radical schedule that's been the cause of all of it but i i thank you so much good brother for coming on today enlightening our um community and talking about your perspective on cloud gaming altogether. i know people the the channel's doing fantastic it's doing gangbusters uh me and jack were talking about the numbers at the beginning of of the month I mean, Great it's the fast show, by the way. Oh, Great appreciate show. it. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. You guys are killing it, man. I mean, if, if before we get into the nooks and crannies, I know we didn't really like discuss this before, but I know a lot of people love the platform. They love what you guys are doing. It's making airwaves. Again, Linus Tech Tips is, is paying attention. Um, what, what, what do you think is the secret to your success? I would say cloud gaming is as, as much as the industry like to make fun of it and put it down. I think a lot of people are, you know, really interested in it that, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's a technology that's new and people have questions. People want to know what other platforms are out there except from, you know, the mainstream ones. And I think like something we do in our channels, we cover pretty much everything, right? So it gives people an overview of what is all out there for cloud gaming. So I think just people are interested and they're searching for it and they're finding us. And I think that's how we're getting noticed for sure. Awesome, man. Well, it's well-deserved nonetheless, but no, it's great stuff to see. So- Thanks. Yep. Let's get right into it, man. Um, a lot of people want to know more about Ace, okay? I, I was I was joking around last night. I said, Ace is so smooth and so cool, man. He, <laughs> okay. he reminds me of somebody that wrote song lyrics for, for Keith Sweat back in the day. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> so cool, calm, yeah. and collective, right? But so help people get into the world of Ace. What what, what makes you as a, as a gamer? Um, what got you into gaming all, the game, uh, all together, good brother? Oh man, I've been gaming for, for quite some time, man. Like my brother, my oldest brother put me, he, he's the one that showed me all about gaming. And ever since, man, I, this, so this gaming and then this like researching gaming and yeah. I like the both of them. So I like to game, but then I also like to know like what's going on. I'm always on, I don't know if you remember back in the days when they used to have all these like gaming magazines, the EGMs, oh, yeah. the yeah. PSN, I mean, I used to like collect all of them, always like reading it. And so I love the aspect of gaming, but I also love just like the research, knowing what's coming, knowing the tech behind it. Um, so yeah, since I've been little, man, been gaming, been researching it for quite some time. That's awesome. Great stuff. Hey, so what are some of your favorite games to play? <laughs> this is sad to say, but it's like <laughs> as a content creator, man, I, I don't play as much as I would love. Uh, oh, brother, I know. Yeah. Oh, I know you, the pain. You, for sure. <laughs> you, you, know, you know what it is. But, uh, but like, I, man, I love the Japanese stuff, man. Yeah. The, uh, anything with a great story, um, mm -hmm. I'm big on, like the Final Fantasies, the um, the Yakuza series. I I love games with like great stories. Uh, so, it's yeah. And lately, it's been you know online games as well. Uh, games like SOCOM, US Navy SEALs, 
was one of my favorite multiplayer games in the PS3, PS2, PS3 eras. And right now, it's real company online wise and also yeah. NBA 2K. So I'm gotcha. all over the place, but <laughs> I love a game with a great story, man. Sure. Awesome. Awesome. Now, what got you interested in just general gaming and, and translated that towards cloud gaming? So I'm a techie. I mm. love the tech um, behind gaming. You know, I'm all about like, give me the, the latest and greatest visuals and, and all that stuff. So cloud gaming, actually, people might not know this. It's been, I mean, it's been a thing for quite some time. I mean, GeForce Now, before it came out of beta, was in beta for like two or three years before that. And I've always tested that service when uh, it was on, in the only on the Nvidia Shield. I was like, "Yo, this this has potential, man. This there's something here that's very unique. That if companies can really leverage this technology, there's a lot of potential here." So I've been following cloud gaming. Um, way before GeForce Now came out beta. Mm. I when I played that, I was like, man, this tech is here. Yeah. And this is gonna be the future of gaming if people can really figure this out. Um so that's what made the transition. Just the tech behind cloud gaming really got me excited about it. Yep. Now besides your own personal excitement of it because of the tech aspects of it, what other benefits can you think of that cloud gaming has presented for Ace? I you know, so being a, a husband, being a dad, uh, yeah. just always working, have my own business, man. As I don't game as much as I used to, but I do want to game, but I just don't have the time mm -hmm. to game. Absolutely. And so I'm always on the go, right? And so the Nintendo Switch was the eye opener for me. Uh, because of the convenience of it just being able to play triple a game well not tech like nintendo switch yeah. nintendo exclusive the legend of zelda mario odyssey games like those on the go really converted me into the idea of playing triple a games pretty much anywhere and i think that's the benefit for me of cloud gaming and to me that's what really makes it very interesting just the convenience of being able to play AAA games anywhere gotcha gotcha now we we, we talked about you guys being featured on linux t uh, linus tech tips congrats <laughs> on that again huge feat just Thanks. when you get Thanks. recognition yeah. like that man i know that feels good and especially from someone as big as that that's just a testament to the, the job that you guys do um can you i know you you spoke about how you felt about that but how did the team feel about that so people might not uh we were actually a little kind of uh salty <laughs> but <laughs> this <laughs> There's, there's a back end to this. So we knew that video was uh, coming for quite oh, some time because, cool. okay. yeah. So because in order for them to put it up, they had to get our approval. So the journalist um, contacted us and asked us to use the video. Mm -hmm. uh, so the the goal we were supposed to there was <laughs> there's supposed to be more for us. Yeah. than just the name recognition yeah, uh, yeah. recon <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah yeah Re recognition, being recognized yeah. with the name but yeah what happened was i don't know if you were following it but xcloud uh the the test app went offline yeah. so in a way because of that happened they didn't if you watch the video they only showed us for a little amount of time we were supposed to get more coverage and we were supposed to, we were hoping to get like our name or link to our channel. That's what we thought the agreement was on, but because mm -hmm. the test app went offline, um, pretty much that video almost got scratched, you know? Oh. But we were, we're, we're happy to be mentioned. Yeah. It was supposed to be more than what was said. So, gotcha. uh, yeah. yeah. Well, you guys have been great about it, and hopefully they'll they'll reference you guys again because look, there's a pandemic. You spoke very articulately about why cloud gaming, even though some people are laughing at it, how it's a big deal. 
And I oh, think more and, more and more people will recognize that. So hopefully Linus will come back and say, okay, we're going to do it right this time. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Hopefully, right? Exactly. But yeah, no, it's, it's, it's good stuff, though. It shows that, you know, people are... Not just our channel, though. It, it shows that people are interested in cloud gaming. And that's what has me excited, right? The fact that Linus... It's looking into cloud gaming. That's that's huge, man. Absolutely. That's huge. So absolutely. Hopefully, more people, you know, look look at it based off that video. Now, as far as cloud gaming and the state of it and the psyche of it, um, mm -hmm. who do you feel right now? Because we again, there's you look at different analysts. You you talk to different people, and you talk to the people out in the, in, the, in what I like to call Main Street, where I'll say, hey, look, man, I think this will benefit you. You know, try Stadia, try GFN, try this or whatever. Oh, that cloud gaming stuff is, is trash or whatever. <laughs> when they shut it off, you know, this, that, and the other, I'd rather just stick to my hardware, right? But oh. there, there is a group of people, Ace, that it does, like they look past all the smoke and mirrors and they embrace it. Who do you feel that ideal demographic is for cloud gamers currently? So a couple of things is for P first of all, like if you want the next gen console right now, it's mm -hmm. almost nearly impossible to find Absolutely. one with the pandemic, right? Yeah. So for those yeah. people who want to experience, you know, AAA games with uh, good quality, I would say look at cloud gaming. I mean, mm -hmm. what we have in the cloud right now is way better than the old school, the last gen consoles yeah. with the yeah. Xbox. You know one x and the playstation 4 pro so if you uh, you saw what cyberpunk did right it was better mm -hmm. to play in the cloud than those old yeah, consoles so yeah yeah so i would say for those for those people who are wanting to play triple a games right now but don't have number one the money to do so or number two can't find the hardware to do so uh look into cloud gaming but also like i was saying earlier just for people who don't have time right who dads or you know people who run a business or people who are just too busy to sit in front of your television to play games right the convenience of the cloud makes it really attractive to those people absolutely absolutely now depending on the platform the media reception differs you you, you see me out here always fighting for the good fight for the stadium, <laughs> yeah. right? <laughs> right you know to, right. to some people's sure. higher but I, you know whatever you know and, and to to each their own but again um to the general gamer who knows of cloud gaming or is skeptical mm -hmm. or just not fond of it you know what i mean like we talked about earlier why yeah. do you think you know just let's even take stadia out of the equation stadia gets press right that's a certain way just cloud gaming in general yeah why are people skeptical to it you know what i mean what do you think that reason is uh, so a couple of things uh the big one is people just don't like change you know what i'm yeah. saying especially like gamers right mm -hmm. you have gamers who are have been collectors for the the longest time you look at all these big youtubers who cover a game you look at the back wall you mm -hmm. see all of the collection they, they love that something that has been associated with gaming for quite some time you collect you know games you collect cases you collect consoles so for those people I feel like it, the, the change of, you know, um, having to sacrifice all of your collection and embracing the digital future to them, it might be a threat. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it, it might be dif difficult for them to just, you know, get rid of uh, the collection. But number two, just some people don't understand the technology behind it. I mean... You think of cloud gaming, you hear of cloud gaming, people are like, oh, there's no way this is ever going to work, right? Mm -hmm. um, they haven't even tested and they're bashing it, you know, and I, I feel like they just don't understand the tech behind it and they're not willing to test it out or try it. Um, and, and then the third, I would say people just go with whatever they hear instead mm -hmm. of them doing their own research, right? Yeah. Their favorite yeah. YouTuber says a platform mm -hmm. sucks and they're like, yo, the platform sucks instead of testing it out. So there's just a couple of things going on mm -hmm. um, that 
It's making it difficult for people to accept or embrace cloud gaming as a whole. Yeah. And that's a shame because I, I really feel that, again, it doesn't matter the platform, really. I think that cloud yeah. gaming would benefit so many people. I, I always give so, examples. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. What were you, what were you saying? No, I, I, I agree with you. I was just saying yeah to what you were saying. Yeah. Yeah. Go, like sorry. my brother laughed at me he said you're you're out here you're grown you're an old man you're making these youtube videos about this cloud <laughs> gaming thing and it sucks and because he, he's a piece of pc master race guy right yeah, um yeah and when he came over my house one day we were playing ghost week on breakpoint on stadium and again that you know there's no argument here that is not the best port <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah, on the platform. for sure for sure but yeah he was playing and he was like, oh, this is cool, you know, and then he's like, okay, where's the box? And he's looking and, and I'm like, <laughs> you looked at it, you pass it, is that dongle hanging in? Like, no way! And I'm like, yes, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? And so and ever since then, he's been more interested in Stadia and cloud gaming nice. in general, you know what I mean? So right. it, it, it's just a matter of trying to get them to get past all that noise, all the smoke and mirrors. Um, yep, exactly. What, what, do, what do you say to those with deep fears and skepticisms, the ones that say, oh, I want to own my game and you know what I'm saying? Like, why do you, why should they get over those fears and those and that skepticism and B, why would getting over it benefit them if you can answer those questions? Yeah, that's a great question. I, I feel like because there's potential for cloud gaming and realistically speaking, Cloud gaming is here to stay. I mean, you can mm -hmm. shun it, you can try to cast it away, but the fact that these big tech companies are interested are and are invested in it shows that they see the potential of it. So you either, right, embrace the change that's coming or, you know, for me personally, I invested a lot of money in collecting DVDs and Blu-rays. I had yeah. over like 400 oh, wow. Blu-rays, right? Yeah, and so people come to my house, I'll show them off, they're like, oh, yo, let's watch this, let's watch that. And something that I regret is I should have sold my DVD collection before the tech just got outdated because now they're not worth as much. Um, so those people who are collecting, right? Yes, I mean, for the moment, you know, physical consoles and, and games are still hot, right? But I mm -hmm. feel like where the industry is moving five to ten years from now, you look at what is happening with music, you look at what's happening with movies, games are going to transition to streaming. I mean, yes, you still might have your physical console, but that is going to be, I think, personally, the fusion. So I would say, man, like embrace it because it's inevitable it's, it's gonna happen um and they might coexist right they still might be physical they you know and digital but cloud gaming is here to stay and there's no denying that so embrace it yeah that's what i would say yeah definitely i mean again you can walk into walmart today and get your favorite dv i mean cd exactly. if you want it exactly. you know what i mean yeah. like media you know even for music where yeah. digital and streaming is is more profound it, it's not going right. away and I, and, I, and i say that because i reckon back and i and i've been watching you guys um since i, I i've been like prof, you know really into the stadium community and more into the cloud gaming tech altogether i remember the interview oh. that you had with the guy the gentleman that was saying something about stadia and you brought him on and you guys talked it out oh, it yeah. great interview. <laughs> you know yeah. well an oldie but goodie that was sometime early last year you know what i mean so yeah. it's just it's just yep. a matter of educating people and, and getting them out exactly. of that fear of, I own this. You don't own anything. You own a license. And at any yeah. given time, that license can be taken away, right? And and yeah. they that's in the terms of service. You know what I mean? So Yeah. And yo, shout outs to you real quick. You know, I was uh, just watching your recent video with Doc uh, yeah. 1985. I mean, you gave him that 60 day challenge and you see the impact that had for him, you know, yep. he probably would have never tested out stadium, but there's another person who just by trying it, right? He was able to see, damn, this like, this works. This works better than xCloud does. This mm -hmm. actually, 
can rival, you know, um, console. And so yeah. that's that's what's all about. Just getting into the hands of people and letting them test it out and try it. So shout outs to you. And so, yeah, that six yeah. days challenge works, man. Yeah, I mean, sure. we, we we owe the community that the community made that happen. I, I've been I've been put on punishment, Ace. <laughs> I'm not allowed to spend another <laughs> dime without my wife's approval. So kudos to the community right, for that. Right. But no, but that's, that's the power that. of it. It's just it's just yeah. like, and I, and that's a perfect segue into our or, into our next part. It's like for the cloud gaming future. Um, how do we? How can the popularity of it be boosted? We're just content creator so it's not upon us we talk about what we enjoy and what we love and that we can't carry the weight of that shoulders on us solely it's up to yeah. these companies to do that right but when do you expect that cloud to start to dissipate and you expect cloud gaming to really see a boost in popularity so most of these cloud gameplays so y'all uh my not think this but i still i i still would label stadia in its infant mm -hmm. early stage i would even go as far as to say it's, it's still in beta even though they yeah. really mm -hmm. they dropped the beta tag so mm -hmm. the way i see cloud gaming right now most of these companies are currently still in beta they're not yeah. like marketing cloud gaming absolutely right i mean you see what luna's doing they're doing stuff in the background right they they're building the ecosystem and then when it's ready they're going to start pushing that you see microsoft they're talking about xcloud here and there but i don't think they're ready yet the series x blade is not there yet mm -hmm. google stadia i still feel like they, they're trying to figure this cloud gaming thing out so cloud yep. gaming right now i still feel like it's in its infant stage but i do think as time goes on a year or two even um you'll start seeing these companies start marketing cloud gaming more and start pushing them more and then it'll become more mainstream mm -hmm. i think uh just in time a year or two i think we'll start seeing more market and push absolutely absolutely so um who will usher that change because i have an answer to that and it might surprise <laughs> people but i'm curious on who you think will help who will be the biggest contributor in ushering that change yeah Oof, that's that's a tough one, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so here's 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 uh, I was just talking about this recently. Mm -hmm. I think it might be Amazon Luna, okay. um, because I again uh, Brian uh, from the Nerf Report did a great video on Luna, and uh, he was making points as to things that luna can do to really stand out more and i think his last or fourth point he made was you know luna has access to like 136 million um amazon prime members right mm -hmm. and now i just doing some research it's closer to 150 million oh wow i mean so they have they have the numbers if they include it and they have the twitch platform they have streamers uh they are they have to get the tech up there and that's why they're still better they gotta get more channels and you know extend the amazon luna plus game catalog but i feel like if they get all those things going once luna's out of beta once you know they tie it to prime once you know they they contact the twitch streamers man they can really push that service and market the hell out of it um, and I would say Microsoft right now too has, but, and Google can do a lot of things with stadium and, you know, like they have YouTube, they have, it's just about marketing it properly. Um, mm -hmm. and I think whoever who can figure out how to do that the best is going to be one of the first ones to like really get the name, the cloud gaming name out there. It's just about marketing properly and letting people know what cloud gaming is gotcha gotcha um who do you think i'm curious to know who darn it you didn't let me skate that, that, that i got it <laughs> i'm gonna have to answer for this for decades now Ace, no. Sure. no i i i you know what to be honest regardless of what our preferences are which that's going to be the fun part of this we're, we're going to close this out um it, I, it, it's, it's going to be xbox um yeah. you know xbox is the is the record the more recognized name they are the yeah. ones that came out full-fledged ahead before google made an official announcement so yeah. even though a lot of the ire 
behind cloud gaming mm-hmm. is tagged to Stadia. I think mm-hmm. the acceptance of cloud gaming in all likelihood will be pushed by the popularity of X Cloud's yeah. platform first. Yeah. I think what will happen is the other surrounding platforms that are still around will just simply say, oh, yeah, OK, well, you saw what they're offering you on X Cloud. Here's what we can do. You know what I mean? Um, so I think they'll have to piggyback off of Xbox, but you know, it is what it is. Can I mean, say something about that real yeah, quick. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Uh-huh, absolutely. I think it'll be them, but I'm hoping that it's not. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. the reason, the reason being because the Xbox brand is already associated with console gaming, you know? So yeah. when people, I get it, like it's an extension to the Xbox ecosystem with X cloud, but I think if a new company comes out and they're like, you know, this is the future, like, kind of like what Stadia did again, this is why I'm leaning on Luna here. Mm-hmm. Um, if, if a company comes, say, this is what cloud games is about, this is the advantage of cloud gaming, this, this is what cloud gaming can do instead of it just being like an extension to what you, I feel like that puts cloud gaming in its own, you know, like, sheds a new light to it it's not just your cloud gaming is a different beast and there's definitely things that you can do in the cloud that you can do with your traditional consoles and so i'm hoping that like companies will push that side of cloud gaming more instead of it just being like an addition to your xbox console ecosystem i would mm-hmm. that's i'm rooting for either stadia luna to kind of like really push what the cloud is all about you know um but that's just, just no me. i yeah i i agree I, me personally it goes a little bit deeper um where i agree with you on that and i feel that way because i don't want the standard bearer to be the one with the least technical prowess at the moment you know what i mean like i want it to be right. bigger and better than just we can give yeah. you a bunch of games via the cloud. Right, and right. I'm with you to where it not necessarily yeah. even stay there. I would be happier if someone else was to usher that in. Right, right. We want that standard bearer to be the people that are squeezing the most juice out of this technology. You right, know what I mean? right. And yeah. I just, I just feel that- like, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Sorry, I I, I, was, I guess I just don't want cloud gaming to be like the stepchild of yeah, like console yeah. gaming. You know what I'm yep. saying? Yep. So that's that's all. Yeah. Yep. I get you. I'm I'm totally there with you. Um. Yeah. So we. I mean, this is redundant, but you know, who do you see as the main players in the, in the space in the future, and and why? That's a great question. So I I think um, it's going to be Amazon Luna. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to be uh, Stadia for sure. Mm-hmm. Google Stadia is is going to be quite interesting to see what happens with this platform. But I don't see Google giving up on it. They have the tech. They know they have the tech. There's a lot of smart people working at Google, and I think they'll figure it out. And this is a reason why Microsoft said that Stadia and Amazon is one of the biggest threats, right? So I do see Microsoft, I do see Google and Stadia, and I do see Amazon. The reason I say these three is because they have the pockets to last. You guys might think I'm crazy when I say this, but I really am I'm, I'm starting to be nervous for Sony, man. Sony was one of my favorite, you know, like I said back in the days, I used to research i i love sony i love the exclusive i've always bought every single sony console but i have to say they sony is a very traditional japanese company and if you know anything about japan and tradition they like to stick with it right if something works they stick with it and we are in in day and age with tech you have to be able to keep up with where tech is going and where tech is moving and I've always said if they don't have an answer to uh, Game Pass or xCloud, they're going to be in serious trouble. And mm-hmm. so far, we haven't really seen anything. We know that they're working on things, but nothing has officially been said. Mm-hmm. It, so those are my three, you know, like uh, Stadia, Amazon Luna, and Microsoft. I think those three are, in, in 10 years from now, those are the companies that we'll be talking about. 
Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, now let's have a little bit of fun. Let's have a little bit of fun before <laughs> I let you get back, Ace. Um, sure. And, and I, I thank you so much for coming through again and and and, and being so patient with with, with us um, as far as sure. timing and stuff is concerned. Um, now the luxury of cloud gaming is that it's such a low entry to participate in each hub, yes. and, and you can enjoy multiple ones like we both do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, right. and, and I don't know about you. I, I can. I don't want to speak for you, but I'm very confident in saying I'm thinking that even without the YouTube content creation, with your with your admiration of cloud gaming, you would have all of them too. You know what I mean? Oh hell yeah! <laughs> <For sure. laughs> exactly. You know what for I mean? Sure. Um, that said, everyone has their favorites. You know? Yeah. It's no yeah. illusion if people aren't up under a rock. Mine is Stadia, but yeah. forget me. No, everybody's hurt my loud mouth. Let's talk yeah. about yours. Can you <laughs> A, tell us what it is at the moment and B, yeah. why do you feel it's the best option? Yeah. So I always say this, right? Um, I My favorite is what I'm using mostly currently, mm -hmm. right? So just one point when uh, I was in shadow and I played most of the, my stuff in shadow, just one point I was in GeForce now, but I would have to say as of late, my favorite has to be Stadia. And the reason being is because they pretty much have every single game that I'm interested in playing right now on that platform. Now, if you watch our podcast, I was talk about like for the last <laughs> eight weeks, GeForce Now uh -huh. has been having something I call a weak week, right? Meaning okay. that their release have been weak mm -hmm. on uh, three months on a weekly basis. like. Stadia right now, they have Judgment, which I'm currently playing. They have Outriders, which I'm playing. And they have Resident Evil 8, which I'm playing. I, I made a promise to myself that I will not own a next-gen console. Yeah, I really okay. want to take advantage of the cloud. So gotcha. Stadia right now, all these games that are coming out, next-gen games, Stadia provides me with the only place to play this game sat so that's why i'm currently playing those games uh -oh. you guys hear me say it right now and i've said it previously <laughs> when it comes to performance uh -huh. when it comes to performance as of right now nothing nothing touches the performance of stadia and convenient wise you know just being able to play i have all these texts all connected and it's just the simplicity of being able to play anywhere in any device with great quality easy stadia does it all for me you know so i'm i would say right now stadia is my preferred cloud gaming console of choice um but there's a lot of potential again i i think the sleeping giant man is is luna i'm really excited to see what they pull off but i think by the end of this year we'll see some awesome stuff we'll in really the cloud and my that. okay yeah my uh my <laughs> decision probably might change you know once yeah. these companies start catching up to the tech and yeah we'll we'll see but right now it's steady for sure absolutely and that's that's the beauty of this tech being in its infancy and we jumping in in its infancy you know what i mean like yeah. you don't and then the fact that it's it's frictionless meaning you and i didn't have to stand out in the cold in front of a game <laughs> stop or whatever you know what in order yeah. to get this thing it's yeah. just you oh. type in your credentials you sign up you pay whatever you got to pay or don't you know what i mean and then you yeah. have access right so yeah so you know to say something else about the beauty of stadia too like mm -hmm. seriously you know i have gfus now i have x cloud and all those things right there's just something you were talking about not having to stand in line there's something so sweet about just going to the stadia store seeing a game release midnight or whenever hitting that pay button and just seeing that game in your library library like instantly you hit play and you write it it happened with resident evil 8 yeah and it was the most like it was so beautiful right you gfus now you have to hop onto epic you have to mm -hmm. like hop onto steam it, it's yeah. just 
kind of yeah, a hassle. It is. But Stadium makes it so simple to just go to the store, purchase a game, hit play, and you write in. It's, it's such a beautiful thing. I think it's it, it speaks to the you know the 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 dualistic nature of what we're dealing with we don't it's not a buy it's not a binary choice i gotta have this or that you can enjoy them all for what they are you want a sure. thor of games you know sure you got you got gfn and mm -hmm. um gfn is it, or you know you ain't got to carry your three thousand dollar rig with you you know you can <laughs> take those games yeah. with you yeah um you know what i'm saying but if you're more of a mm -hmm. casual and you want to see um, a good number of the triple a titles that are coming out here yeah. stadium might be you know more up your alley it really depends but they're all great and really you can get them all and test them out you can you, you know? can that's the beauty of cloud gaming man that's absolutely. the beauty of it absolutely yeah. um well you stole my thunder ace because i didn't expect <laughs> you to say that not be, you know not because i put you in a predisposed box but i, I just thought that um, you know, you might have a, a bigger, a bigger infinity for 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 another one right now. But um, yeah. So uh, the, if you people that watch the podcast, they, mm -hmm. they know like uh, I, Stadia is actually my preferred cloud. The thing is, like we have panel members who. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. No. The, the, the so, beauty, repeat though. that ace you, you went out the last three seconds go ahead and repeat that you said yeah, the last bad. thing we heard was panel members yeah i was saying in our podcast like me and holtz if you watch it we're normally like yeah. the people that are like all about stadia i i really enjoyed the platform and mm -hmm. i do think i played gfus like you were saying they all have the benefits right so I'll just throw xCloud under the bus real quick. I was talking about this, um, my open, I have a hard time with that platform, man. I yeah. do. Yeah. Uh, let me just, uh, let me quickly outline these platforms mm -hmm. real quick and yeah, tell sure. you my issues Absolutely. with them, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so xCloud right now, my biggest issue is that you're pretty much telling me that I'm going to play a triple a game that just released like Outriders on mm -hmm. a Xbox One S console in the yeah. cloud. So yeah. pretty much it's like playing a last gen console. I'm not okay with that. Yes, they Absolutely. might have all the games in the world, but yep. the tech is just not there. Now, yep. once the Series X Blade becomes a thing, that might be a different issue. Amazon Luna right now, I feel like they have potential but we need more channels and it's not up to par yet. Once they mm -hmm. get the channel, once they add more games to plus, Luna can be a competitor. GFIS yeah. now runs really well, but mm -hmm. as a techie, it's still limited to 1080p. And yeah. yes, you can, you know, use a Nvidia Shield TV and get upscale 4K, but mm -hmm. I'm not sitting in front of my TV playing <laughs> those games. I'm on my laptop, on my phone. Exactly. I'm always on the go playing games, so I'm not, able to experience that 4k i have a chromebook that's 4k my phone's a 2k i want high the 1080p and geforce now it's not doing for me now state everything that i've just mentioned right now for me meets all those needs right okay. so i play around with all of these things but right now the 4ks the the games that i want to play the library that i want i feel right now personally stadia offers all of that for me now again come this end of this year all of that can change yeah but for me personally that's where i'm at with cloud do you, gaming do you have a wish list for because we asked doc dark the same thing he was very transparent which i think is is appreciated and needed because google needs to hear this yeah um yeah. is there like a wish list something what, what can they do better what can they provide ace that that they he feels is is better what it would increase the experience google stadia mm-hmm or stadia Yep. Uh, yeah, so, so stay here. I was talking to Gamer TV again, another member of the panel, and uh -huh. something that he was saying is when it comes to Stadia, like I, he loves the product. I love the we. I I think most of us love the product. 
um, mm. it, it works, it's good. Um, but the, the thing with Stadia is it's ran by Google. And mm -hmm. I don't mean this to like sound bad, or, but I, I've been following Google for the longest time. I'm a techie. And people mm -hmm. who know Google know that when it comes to just like releasing a product, they are not the best. And I even heard, heard um, Doc say that when it comes to marketing, there's, there's so many things that is missing um, from the marketing team that if they can just say, hey, you know, Stadia can do this or it has this feature. I mean, mm -hmm. like people will be aware of it. And so my thing with Google Stay is something that they can improve on. And maybe with this shift going on internally, we might yeah. see this yeah. is they just need to be confident about the product they need to market it better they need to advertise it more i mean we're not seeing a lot of adv advertisement right i mean what's the last time we saw like a good stadia commercial right this product mm -hmm. is out people can get their hands on it the pandemic is happening they can have a like kick as as like pandemic advertisement you want to get an xbox you want to get ps5 you can't get it but yeah. you can play resident evil right now with google stadium where is that commercial you know there's so many things they can do to push this product more and i feel like they're not doing it personally the tech is there yo the tech is there it works and that's why a lot of people love it but it's just the pr and the marketing i feel like is what is kind of holding this platform yeah. back yeah, yeah, I think that's the term that a lot of people use and they feel, Doc, like you said, Doc expressed it as like, if you got this thing that's powerful, even though you're in the early phases, why not try to capitalize on it? Now, one of my theories is, and again, it's just a theory, I don't know, is yeah. that I think they're scared of what they got in a lot of ways. Um, if you listen mm. to them at Dice 2020, they even admitted, mm. they said, we're in a scary place. I mm. think that, I don't know if infrastructure wise, they mm -hmm. don't feel like they're up to par yet or what. I don't, I'm not sure because I do, I do agree with that notion that you just expressed that. I feel like if anybody else, if Amazon, uh, GFN, even shadow for crying out loud, I feel if anybody else had Stadia's capabilities, <laughs> yeah. they, they would be screaming stuff from the rooftop. Oh so goodness, I do agree with yeah. that. I do yeah. agree with you that. know, Here's here's the thing with Stadia though. They like you were saying, they are in a position that no one else has ever had to deal with. Stadia, I, I call them the martyr of mm -hmm. cloud gaming, right? They were the first ones to put themselves out there and so pretty much they gain like the blunt of all of the negativity when exactly. it comes to yeah. cloud gaming. Yeah. Right? So to them it's like if all these people are bashing us, what like Th mm -hmm. That makes sense as to why they're afraid to try yeah. different things. Oh yeah, because they they put themselves up there as the the first to ever do it, the mart of it. So yeah, they're gonna get most of the you know criticism, which which sucks. Um, mm -hmm. but at the same time, they should take pride, you know, mm -hmm. for being the first to do it. Right? Mm -hmm. They might fail. But they have a lot of great things going for them. Learn from that. Pick it up. Make some changes. Which people are like. You know, putting this whole shift going on internally as a bad thing. But to me, like they kind of struggled with advertising marketing with Stadia. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. maybe this team going away and this new exactly. team that yes. they created, yes. you know, is actually going to be good for this platform moving forward. So I'm actually more excited to see what this new team brings to the table now you know with this shakeup that just happened yeah so yeah so let's let's see man let's see again this year is going to be quite interesting very when interesting. this all plays out i think you hit on some very key stuff ace like i i do think there's fear and yeah i get it. like even today with the kotaku article and the, and the ign article that put such a negative spin on them finally coming up we've asked them open your mouth yeah. open your mouth open and they open their mouth and then now it's like well you open your mouth and you didn't you didn't exactly yeah. say that. so okay. there's all this negative spin on but here's where you have to start controlling your own narrative and this is where i give kudos to to xbox and i know we ain't got too much time to shut up but i want to get your thoughts on this no, i'll good. give yeah. kudos to xbox even though i'm a jaded former xbox gamer <laughs> but i give kudos to them because 
when the media was against them, uh-huh. they said, we're going to control our own narrative. We're going yeah. to build up our own base. And as you come in, we're going to, and what they started doing, Ace, is they started having their own news weeks, their own newsletter. Now, yeah. I get we get a blog, yeah. but then mm-hmm. they start, they created their own community hype. And yeah. one thing that I keep pressing Stadia for, I want to get your thoughts on this real quick, on, on, mm-hmm. on this subject matter altogether is, I said, if you guys drop a 15 minute video, just bring yeah. Jack Buser in there. Yeah. Bring somebody else in there. <laughs> play games. Show that enthusiasm yeah. that, that yeah. you see over at Xbox. Build up some internal yeah. hype. It'll spread out. What, what are your thoughts yeah. on this? That's, uh, yo, I, I agree with you 100%. But my thing is kind of like we were saying earlier. I think they tried that, right? Mm-hmm. Again, I don't know. Starting from the uh, stadium commercial at the Video Games Award, you can tell that something they just did not connect with the gamers, and oh, yeah. for some reason they didn't. There was something off with PR and and, and Stadia. Mm-hmm. So the thing is, I think Stadia tried that. They tried the Stadia Connect. They they tried the um the different uh, uh, shows, right? And mm-hmm. they always received negative press mm-hmm. they always like oh steady didn't do this why the competition's doing this oh steady failed at this so no matter what they tried back then they always received like, the press people like steady is not i was saying this early did not advertise much but if you look at the vga i mean they had the steady commercial people were getting sick of steady <laughs> commercials because how often it played at the vgas so it's not like they weren't trying, trying. right but i think they whoever who's in charge of the marketing just was not getting what not getting to it. market right and then you see them start to improve they made like a two minute stadium video showcasing like what stadium was all about yeah that so was, i uh, that was yeah that was dope right so i think they are learning and still new to them mm-hmm. they they they're figuring out they're learning but the thing is uh they they failed i will be honest with you they failed mm-hmm. with marketing and pr and so i think that kind of hurt their ego and their pride and um you saw that interview end of last year i forgot who they were interviewing but he was like when we have a feature, we're not going to, uh, we don't want to overpromise anymore. We're just going to mm-hmm. launch it, right? That shows eternally that they are struggling with their own narrative. So I would say I agree with that, uh, with this like Stadia like Connect 50 minutes a month or a week, just telling people what is coming to Stadia. It'll be great. But I I, I think the, the past hurt them to where that might be what is hindering them from doing stuff like that. But yeah. I agree. Give us give us more than a Tuesday blog. Even we if you don't connect. have content at, at abundance. Yeah. You know, like GFN yeah. is dropping 61 games, which is fine. You're, yeah. you're more about yeah. the AAA quality, so w- which right. is fine. So right. what you do is even if you don't have an abundance coming out, take 5, 10, 15 minutes to even just play a game. Do a game session. Yeah, Jack Buser exactly. loves to play games. Do exactly. something like that to exactly. show enthusiasm. You know, that, that's yeah. those are just my thoughts. But all in I all, agree. I love the I, I love the platform too. Go, I'm sorry, go ahead. Sure. No, I agree 100%. Even if you don't have the content to back it up, there's still a lot of host a community event, right? Let, yeah. Like mm-hmm. host a, a yes. tournament, host something. Yes. Just yes. show people that Stadia works. And you can play these games on it, right? Um, exactly. But yeah, I agree, hundred percent. I totally agree. Yep. Well, Ace, with that said, I know you got to go, my good brother. You got a lot of work to yeah. do. Thank you so for much sure. for coming through. Let the good people know before you go again where they can catch you at. Yeah, uh, Cloud Gaming Extreme is our YouTube channel. We have a Twitter. I don't know the tag to that, but just <laughs> check out Cloud Gaming Extreme on Twitter. But yeah, man, uh, cl- we cover cloud gaming content, man. That's what we do. All right. And then you guys have a podcast that airs every Saturday. What time does we that air? We do. We do. It's at 2 p.m. PST, CGX cast. It's pretty much six or seven members of the panel just going at it. It's, it's <laughs> So just r- real quick about this podcast, something I really enjoy about it. And this uh, Saturday is going to be insane because, again, there's members like myself and holds that are pros you know we really love stadium there but already in our discord we're talking 
-hmm. And people, the panel members are already saying like this Saturday is going to be quite interesting because we have other people who are not... I saw this week as a positive week for Google Stadium, but yeah. then there are other people who in the panel are just like, are you kidding me? So that's <laughs> the beauty of the uh -huh. dynamic for the panel. You have people who prefer GeForce Now, people who prefer xCloud, people who prefer Shadow, people who prefer Stadia, and just everyone is going at it with discussion pieces, and it's it's pretty cool. I like I like the dynamics awesome. of it. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. It, I think the cloud community loves it, too. It's it's growing in popularity. I mean, you know, the fastest-growing cloud-related channel that's out there, according to our um, estimation so definitely yeah definitely check that out yeah. it'll be a great show i'm i'm gonna even if i can't saturdays are really crazy for me yeah but even if i yeah. can't tune in live i always watch the shows after the fact so sure for sure but uh yeah man hey. i'm sorry go ahead i, I just want to say keep doing what you do man like straight up i know you know people might think you are just uh, the whole stadium 100 thin my uh -huh. thing is if you cover Stadia, that's a win for cloud gaming, right? Absolutely. You see, you see, uh, what's his name, Doctor Spaceman, just covering yeah. PlayStation stuff. That's a win for cloud gaming. Mm -hmm. Cloud gaming is new, right? Instead of like the divide that yeah. we sometimes see in the community, mm -hmm. a, any platform that's winning is a win for the whole cloud gaming Absolutely. ecosystem. So, yeah. just. Keep doing what you're doing, man. It's, I appreciate you know, it. Yeah, Stadia is a gateway drug. And, and I mean, we prefer here, because it's called Stadia Dosage, to highlight Stadia. But then mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that started off with Stadia, right, Ace? And they said, oh, no, I, I, now I prefer this and that. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, like you said, I, I'm totally with you. It's, it's, a, it, it's not a means to gatekeep, but it's a means to highlight the things that we like. But it's also an entry into other things. So, yeah, you know, absolutely. 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 Agreed. All right, my good friend. Thank you so All much right, for coming through. We appreciate it. And we got to do this again. For sure. For sure. Sounds good. Thanks for having me, man. All right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Again, thank you for the, those that watched this live. If you want to watch the VOD, or if you're watching this VOD, then watch it, you're watching on the MM2K channel. Thank you so much for the support. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and rock those bells for notifications. Until next time, peace. Peace out, y'all. All right.